Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for March 16th until 23rd. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Feeling a little bit discontented with your work, Aries. And it seems like you're also planning to travel and look for something else. More likely another opportunity, you know, outside the fence. But then the thing here is you will hear from somebody or from a company from the past. And it seems like they want you back. Now, um... The situation here is if the if your company wants you back, I feel like it's um it's sorry. Okay, I feel like there is like a trouble that's coming up ahead of you. So think long and hard about it. I know that you are financially not really contented with whatever you do right now with the job that you have. And you're looking for something that you can have a little bit of a freedom. Okay, so why not just try and offer a um self-employment okay but don't start anything while the retrograde is still ongoing now you're feeling a little bit you know impatient bored you know you feel like that ah, this is not really my line or this is not really my you know this is not really my forte now you're thinking about something else that you can do and decide and uh you want to know where is your real life path? You're still looking for your life calling. And you want to search for that sign or for that horizon right now. And you're feeling a little bit, you know, uneasy and comfortable, um, anxious as well. You know, what's uh, what will the future bring you? And I feel like at this point, um, something or somebody from the past will be getting in touch with you. And they are going to be offering you back your job. Okay, now think long and hard about this because I feel like you you were not really happy in that situation before in that you know in that job. Well, financially, it's um, much more suitable than what you have right now. But the environment and the politics and the people you know that's been infesting and pestering you—that's the one that you feel like you can't really stand. Now, if you will go back to the to that same environment again, and if you will try, okay, to um to hover around that um work area because i feel like someone will be either retiring or resigning and that position that you used to have will be vacant or a position that you're well you know versed of it uh, you know it, it will be open to you again since that uh, it's um, a little bit of an emergency and someone's going to know that you're also looking for another placement so the company will be reconsidering you to go back to your you know to your old job but the thing here is there is a hitch either the uh, the pay is uh, the same or much lower or the benefits is not really that you know the benefits that they are going to be offering you are not that attractive it's or it's kind of a little bit unfair you know so think long and hard about it if you're after the finances or the money go for it but then right after three months or the month of september you will start looking for another one and you will be stumbling upon an opportunity that you feel like you can find yourself fitting in staying in for a long period of time and growing right now it will be in the service industry in the month of well, Taurus, Taurus month is actually upcoming, or in the month of uh, Virgo, okay? Now, this is the main highlight for you. And somebody that you used to have a lot of love, feelings, and, you know, somebody that you used to care so much, but now you're just right. You just want to turn your, you know, you just want to turn your life around without this person, and you want to start all over again. That even though you, this person means a lot to you, even the world, you feel like there is something else that's been waiting for you. Okay? Now, on the other hand, especially if you have an air sign son or somebody who acts very stubborn, aggressive, sometimes obnoxious, 
and the very hard-headed it seems like there is a correspondence or letter that's going to be coming your way with regards to your child could be from school and there's going to be a bit of a problem now i feel like you need to talk and sit down with your son or with your with your child about their behaviors and whatever that's been bothering them okay it's time for you to act like a mother or it's time for you to um focus on being a mother for a little while because i know that you're financially you're having a lot of hard times and you're having a lot of anxieties worries you know what's going to happen next where am i going to go it's my you know how will i make ends meet and s stuff like that but uh because of these problems especially for single moms because of these problems that you are having right now you're also losing your focus into your children or to your child so and sometimes you know you're a very intuitive person but sometimes you you forgot how it is to read your child's mind and uh you know if ever that they are lying to you or not now Mm -hmm. someone who is a younger earth sign will also be coming into your mind and you feel like this person can actually help you to you know to take care of some of the things that you are kind of um, you know setting aside for a little while um it could be uh, like a younger sister a younger friend or like a younger neighbor you know and you just want to resolve your problems right now you just want to finish off some of the things that's been like pending and then you want to make you know um changes all together with the schedule you know with the things at the household and stuff like that and eventually be very careful with an air sign woman who will be breaking your heart and who will be um, not really betraying you, but this person is actually mischievous or up to something that's not really good or, you know. Oh, she's, she, she will be doing something to hurt you and to break you apart. And I feel like this person is, if you are married to an air sign or if you're with an air sign, then definitely this person is cheating on you. And you will know about it. You will discover it this week. And um, this is where you will be finding yourself like, you know, it's time to turn things around and it's time for some major changes. Some of you will also start thinking about moving out of your home with your children or will be leaving altogether. Well, I mean, along with your, you know, along with your things and furniture and the leaving this person behind. So, well, and also with your pets. So, just hang on tight there, Aries. I feel like, um, you know, you're still guided and someone is still watching you and someone is still, you know, um, hovering above you. But this trying and testing times that you need to pull yourself through, you will be learning a lot from this and it will make you a better and stronger person. But be very careful next time with your emotions, with your decisions. And if there is somebody in your mind that you're still, you know, that you're still trying to hold on to it, you're still trying to think if they're going to come back to you or if they're going to be like, you know, coming around again. I feel like it's time for you to let the universe do their own thing and keep on moving on with your life. If someone is really meant to be with you, they're going to catch up on you. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for this week, Aries. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.